Greetings and welcome back, Roboteers, to Robocraft and the Halloween update. We have an interesting looking bay here. In fact, if we go into the edit, look at this. Ah, it's fantastic. These are the free jam devs on the wall in their spooky, desaturated pictures. Red rum, red rum, Debnug. Uh, that one actually I, I don't get. Debug, um, gun, be gun bed. Oh, really? I mean, they haven't even reversed one of the R's. Ah, scallywags. Oh, I like the spiders in the bath at the top, though. That's actually really funky. And in fact, I like this whole room. I want to keep this room. I do not want to give this one back. Nevertheless, we aren't going to be playing with the armadillo in this episode. In fact, I haven't actually covered naming it the armadillo. I had some fantastic suggestions, but uh, then what the uh, <laughs> one of the free jam devs tweeted me the suggestion armadillo and kind of kind of preyed on on British trivia. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Reference to a particular chocolate bar in Britain. Very funny. Because the dime bar, soft on the outside, crunchy on the inside, armadillo's crunch. Uh, anyway, it's 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 a it's a British thing. It made me laugh a lot, so I went with the with the name. Now, we have some new bots that we can pick up. Namely, the Banshee. Now the Banshee is very expensive. Like crazy, crazy expensive. We've got one extra gar garage slot, increased player level, that won't actually affect us, the Knight of the Banshee. We, oh, I like the, uh, the mouse kind of moving around like that. Four Mark X bat wings, seven uh, bat rudders, seven Mark X plasma cannons, a halo mask, and all of the halo cubes. These are the, the green Mark X armor cubes there. I haven't got many of these, very few indeed, so this is actually nice to pick those up because they're uh, kind of a, a Halloween special sort of thing. Also, look at those swanky thrusters. So many carbon thrusters, and that's probably why the huge price. Also, the Free Jam developer badge. This is not a cheap bot. I'll, I'll put it out there right now. 75,000 Galaxy Credits is going to cost a fair bit of money. But I'm going to put it down so that we can actually see what this bot is like. And also because I actually do want quite a lot of the, the things on here. Now, unlike previous Halloween and special event um, cubes, for example, the bat wings weren't available previously except last Halloween. So I bought a couple at the time. Now, any cube which is only available through Galaxy Cash will be available following that. Only the ones that are only available through Galaxy Cash. I think the bat wings may not come under that because they're probably going to be available through RP. In fact, if I go and check the cube depot, are they there? Uh, let's see. No, they are actually only available through Galaxy Cash, so these will be a part of this. The idea is that these will be available after the Halloween event, but outside of the event where they're made for. So, for example, these bat wings are made for the Halloween event. They'll cost twice as much. So right now they're on 50% off. Outside of Halloween, they'll be at their full price. But again, 70, 000, uh, 75,000 Galaxy Cash. Now, I, I prefer to do this on camera, I guess. Just because I know that with this, it is a lot of money. And there are people who, who are perhaps a little bit sad that they aren't in a position to buy this sort of stuff. And I can certainly, certainly appreciate that. I'm going to lay down a fair bit of money here to, to pick this up. And I, I just, I guess, want to let you know that I am actually doing it the normal way. I'm not being just given this. This is my own money going into this. So my opinion on this bot is going to be mine. You know, there's no, well, I was given to me for free. I, I'd best not uh, make any shenanigans there. There we go. Well, thank you very much for the monies. Let's uh, get back and add some more again. There we are. I need another 10k by the looks of it. There we are. That is a lot of cash. That's almost £30 that I've uh, just placed down there. Let's just make sure that there is no particular personal info here. I don't think there is. I may, may shield some of this. There we are. All good. 
All happy? Yes, please. Thank you. Dunk. Right, there we go. So, let's go and buy ourselves a new bot. And then we can go and play with it in a couple of battles. So, buy bot. This will come with one month's extra premium, which is quite nice. Don't really need it at the moment, but uh, it's always nice to have it added there. Ah, oh, my lord, why? Always, always with the not being centered. Let's uh, get this in the right position. There we go. And also rise it up a little bit just for good measure. There we are. Now let's have a proper look at this bot. So we've got a little bit of shielding. Only a little though. Very little. A little bit at the back as well. We've got lots of thrusters. I like the design on the wings. Ooh, I really like those designs actually. Uh, we've got lots of T10 plasma, which is nice because I'll be using that on my other bots as well. The thrusters will probably be repurposed in lots of other bots over time. I like the flags especially. I haven't got the green flags, I've only got a, a gold flag. Um, <laughs> I say only. But uh, it's nice to have two of the green flags as well so I can mix and match. Let's take this out into a quick test. Uh, we'll go to single player, see how it can actually do in combat as well. But we'll go and do a quick test with this and then we'll be jumping into a battle arena to test it out. I'm very, very pleased that this is a bot that can go into the battle arena. Come on, let's take off. There we go. Slow to, to climb. But then again, this is a bomber. Nothing else. Probably one of the first things I'll seriously do is get rid of the mask there. Okay, I'm gonna need to wait for my plasma to turn around and fire. That was a bad shot. Nice turning though, very nice turning. There we go. Not doing much to this vessel. Let's get over here. The mask is gone. The, honestly, the masks... I'm not a big fan of the masks. They're kind of nice to look at, but at the same time, they're a bit useless. They've got, like, no armor. I'd rather have armor on the front rather than uh, a really expensive mask. I'm finding a very hard time to hit you because you're hovering. You cheat. There we go. Not doing much damage, though. Some very good shield placement on top. There we go. Did a little bit. Probably wasted my time a, a little bit here, but the main thing is that this is a very uh, stable bot. It's got very good, stable flight, got a lot of redundant wings. I'm a very big fan of having lots of redundancy with the with the uh, aerofoils. You really do need that. There we go. Right, let's uh, jump straight into a battle arena and see how it flies. I'm fairly happy with the uh, way it handles. I'm probably going to see a lot of other bots like this in Battle Arena and in any other game that I play at the moment. I, it's probably one of the biggest reasons why I don't take these sorts of bots out very often is because you're just adding to the kind of oversaturation of that bot in battles. But we'll see how it actually works. So let's uh, jump into a nice big old Battle Arena. Maybe improve our rank a little bit. Possibly, maybe. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be averse to improving my league standing a little bit. I haven't played this very much since the last uh, Four Fine Fellows recording, so uh, I do need to put a lot of work into that. However, I am probably going to be bringing back the From Scratch series quite prominently. So the league battles will be here and there on my main account, which is the level 100 account that I'm using right now. But aside from that, I think I'm going to be spending a fair bit of time in my From Scratch series, just slowly making my way through the, the lower levels and, and gaining new parts and just seeing the sort of creativity that is now possible in the lower tiers with all of the awesome components, the tracks and the, the mech legs that are now available down there. I'm really liking the fact that this music is still here. There we go. Any other banshees, or am I the only one? Mind you, quite often when a new bot comes out, it's a lot less expensive than this, so you do see it a lot more. Perhaps I'm not going to find too many. We'll see. Oh, I like those copters. Very nice. When I saw Plasma Bombers, I thought uh, we might be seeing a couple of the, uh, these bots, specifically. Let's uh, drop another Plasma Shell about there. And then swing back. So the problem with Plasma Bombers, they are rubbish at taking out towers initially. Once you've got a few overclock levels, they become crazy, crazy good at it. One or two volleys will completely recap uh, capture a tower, or recapture a tower, usually by the time you've got overclock levels. Oh, damn, that was pretty bad uh, 
timing for that shot. Right. Well, we've got our fusion shield. I'm going to stick with my other Boromir brethren. Now that might be a bit of a mistake. Though our Alpha Strike is going to be fantastic. Wow, bad shot. Straight into the uh, shield there. Oh, well done! <laughs> That's fantastic! The middle fusion tower has been captured. SMG Walker spotted. SMG tanks. I like the fact that I'm not Your drifting too much. Tower is under attack. Plasma Walker spotted. SMG so if I can't spotted. catch your legs around Your the tower there. Tower is under attack. SMG Walker Anyone spotted. over here? SMG There's going to be an SMG Your down there. Ping them. Attack. Go for their med. SMG oh, that's not a medic. They have no medic. Actually. Pretty in interesting. I don't think we do either, come to think of it. It's going to be an interesting fight, honestly. It's going to be a very interesting fight. Our plasmas in there are having a bit of trouble. I need to try and help them here. Let's try and drop a couple of bombs on them right there. Then pull back immediately. Oh dear. Let's not let that happen, shall we? About there. Then spin back. I want to try and lure you to an SMG if I can. Oh dear. This is not good times. I'm in a pretty vulnerable position here. We've got a lot of plasma on the team. The enemy actually seem to have more players as well. That's interesting. Three and five. No, three and six, I think. No, three and five. Three SMGs below the uh, middle plaza. Trying to watch the team list to the enemy whilst in a fight with a enemy bomber not actually that easy yeah we're one we're one smg short there we go sorry for the steam kill there kind of not really if i'm honest oh bad times okay let me go 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 there we go Pull down. Oh, going into a spin. Need to get back to base. Going to go through the cave to try and minimize my attacks. Or rather, the people attacking me. There we go. Need to get back to base for heals. It's the only place I'm going to be able to get heals for now. Oh, no. That's not a good place. There we are. There we go. Let's try and just get back to the shield for now. There we are. Kind of stable SMG flight. The Walker. redundant aerofoil is really helping there. It is a little bit over uh, underbalanced when I've lost that many on one side, but uh, it's not too bad. The thrusters are doing a very good job of keeping me even in flight. There we go. Right, let's get back out there. I think we'll try and take this tower back if we're able. Got a copter plasma there. Let's see if I can find you. See if I can hit you at all. No. Is there nothing there? Oh, okay. My bad. Oh, there is definitely something there. There you are, you little scallywag. Oh dear. That plasma had a very good shot on me then. Oh, I thought I was going to hit him there. Alas. Thank you very much, SMG. We need your assistance here. Quite desperately, actually. I was massively undershot there, unfortunately. Okay, we are now two people down. That is not good times. Damn, those legs are so resilient. Overshot. Badly overshot there. You're still a threat, even on the ground like that. So I'm just going to try and wipe you out if I can. Right, we're taking back the sky. Bingo. If I can get you before you can get back to your base, that would be ideal. About there. Oh, Scallywags are going to get back in before I can reload. Or maybe not. Yes, you are. Well, I'm going to follow you through. There we go. No escape. Alright, coming back. A hit there. Ooh, actually a decent hit as well. So if I can do it again? No, unfortunately not. Okay, heading back to my team to help out with the... Uh, Assault wave that is coming for... Oh, actually has already taken our tower. That is SMG not good. I do need to pull SMG back to the spotted. shield a little bit. Uh, this bot is actually 
Impressively tanky. I'll be honest, I'm fairly impressed with it. Fusion tower is under attack. Usually the bombs that I make cannot take nearly this much damage. That said, I am finding it a little bit uh, of the case that everything seems tanky at the moment, so it just, might just be my expectations of this kind of level of play. Ah, oh, I didn't wait for my turrets to turn around enough. See if I can finish you off. Good bit of damage there. I'm not going to get another shot, I don't think. Unless I come in low. Oh, I hit the the bridge with most of my shots, I fear. There we go. Good chunk of damage there. He's still got a weapon, though. There we are. Hello, you. Let's get you pinged. Oh, once again, failed to allow my turrets to turn around to face the oncoming target. So a little bit of a late turn there. Let's get back. Don't really want to come at it from this angle. Otherwise I'll just crash into the wall straight away. There we go. From this height should be a bit better. There we go. Right, so we've got two towers. They've got one. The lack of medics in this game is being a bit of a pain. This is a very bad place for me to be. A very bad place. Pulling back from that fight, there's no point in me trying to, to fight in those in that situation. It was far, far too much the enemy's advantage there. Let's swing past, get the top fusion tower. Oh, wow, there's a lot of enemies here, too. The enemy have more mechs by far than us. Matchmaking still not quite there yet, I don't think. Oh dear. I gotta have to try. No reverse thrusters. Oh, that's bad. Don't want it to be my first death. Okay, can we somehow. Let's realign ourselves if we can. We need to turn around, face the base, and forward thrust. Go, 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 go! Come on, we've got to get in there! Huzzah! Victory! Ah, no kill for you. Or at least, not yet. Maybe. Maybe soon. Right, I've got overclock level 7. Most of the enemy team, well, only one person on the enemy team, uh, two, actually have less than that. So, we're not doing too well. Certainly, I'm not doing too well. Quite a mediocre fight so far for me. That's right. Now, let's take to the sky, shall we? Stay inside the shield for now until we've got a proper attack run. Or, possibly... Have I not got all my wings? No, I do. I'm just being remarkably unbalanced in my uh, flight at the moment. Not quite sure why. Quick shot there. Don't really want to let you have free attacks with an SMG, but there's not much I can do about that. Unfortunately, though, this bot seems really awkward to fly now, all of a sudden. I'm not sure why. What have I lost? What important thing is gone? Because something is. Your bottom fusion tower is under I'll just attack. have to keep an eye on that. See if I can hit you there. Okay, there's there's no point in trying to grab that tower back. There's too many people on it. Bottom fusion tower is I'll under go for attack. this one instead. You have captured well the done. Enemy's top fusion tower. I think we've got an enemy just over there. One leg. See if we can't take it. No, bad shot. Mega plasmas too. Your top fusion tower oh. is under Ooh, that was almost a your bad, bad crash there. You know, back within you your shield. Have your clock cycle okay, well, this is a this is going to be a slow battle. I feel we're starting to catch up in overclocks, just slightly. Let's get a plasma shot right there, and straight into the shield. From whence I can attack you without too much concern of retaliation. Okay. There's no point in fighting them outside of the shield right now. Unless my allies have already reduced SMG the attack. Yes, they have. Well done. We've got an SMG over there, though, that we need to deal with before we do anything else. There we go. That's right. All of the plasma bombardment at the same time, please. There we are. I'm not going to go down there. That would be a bit dumb. I might have to, though. 
My allies are suffering. There we go. That was an awesome little cackle there. Right, we need this right now. There we go. Should be able to grab that. Well done. There we go. Where are the enemy now? We need pings. Didn't do much damage there, unfortunately. Try and take the SMGs if we can. So they are an enormous threat to us. Go. SMG tanks Trying to ping where I can. Plasma drone spotted. Plasma where are you going? No, nope, you're gone. Fantastic. Let's go for the tower then. Whilst you're busy taking shots at us that are unlikely to hit for the most part, we'll just continue to harass your tower. Oh no, there you go. You're an SMG, are you? Fair enough. Hadn't paid close attention to that. Do kind of need to take you out then before we start worrying about the tower. At least when you're in range. From this range, prob... Oh no. It looks like you've been grounded. Oh, fantastic. Here's our chance. You're gone. Back to the tower. Oh dear. SMG walker, I think, over there. Gonna need to get back to base for some repairs. Good luck, my allies. We are seeking... Repairs right now. Okay, back up to 10. Okay, we're starting to equalize the uh, overclock gap now. Actually, we're doing a really good job of it. Despite our, our uh, lack of even teams in terms of manpower, we're not doing a bad job there. Uh, let's see, where are those shots come from? Try and drop some plasma on you. At least drive you back a little bit. Okay, we've got a lot of issues here. Okay, don't really want to take too much damage here. Thank you. Put that in the way. Okay, I'm going to start harassing your tower then. Oh dear. That was bad. Your top fusion tower is under attack. And once again. Oh, that was bad. Crash. Reverse. <laughs> no. Oh, this is going to be my first death. Oh, well, I got to overclock level 10 before it happened. Split. Split. That's right. Ow. <laughs> Damn you and your evil cackling. I like that, though. I actually do quite like that. Did that just repair itself? Ooh. Okay. I've got a little bit of a wait. Hopefully my allies are in a position to take on a tower soon. What are you up to? You're going to uh, assault the enemy craft? Very well. I do like this this ship, though. I love the use of blades on that. Okay, let's get back into the sky. Let's go for a loop. Thank you, but no. What on earth did I collide with? An ally. That's what I collided with. No. Thank you for the clock cycles. Alright, let's get back out there. Ooh, I seem to manage to find you in the sky wherever you are. How peculiar. Okay. Let's try and help out with that. There we go. And again. There we go. Well done. Oh, we've lost our tower again. Damn it. Okay. Let's go back and grab that if we can. Ouch. Need to get back to the shield. So I'm going to take a lot of punishment SMG from an overclocked spotted. SMG. Tower is there we under go. Attack. Spin back. Get the height advantage. Okay, well you're in the gully. If I can just be careful with where I go, I should be able to take this tower without Your too much issue. But... Tower. The only, issue, the only real problem with a bomber like this is it has to maintain forward momentum. If it was a copter, I could just hover over the top, attacking top it. Alas, not quite attack. that easy for me. Okay, so we're going to go for this one then. Your shield has been deactivated. Oh dear, we've got, an en got a couple of enemies here, actually. This is not a good place for me to be. I'll head back to the other one then. 
How about my allies who are probably taking that? There we go. Well done. Let's just get over top and. Your plutonium reactor is under attack. Take that down quickly. You Thank you. The enemy's bottom fusion tower. Your fusion shield is Let's now get back active. to the shield. Bomb from in here. SMG there we go. And wait for it to be about to land. Oh, flubbed it. Scallywax. There we go. One down. I'm noticing there's not a lot of uh, of pinging going on of the enemy. It surprises me when with players in this kind of bot ranking, this sort of uh, level are not pinging. See. There we go. Anything down there? No. Okay. Let's try and get up over here then. We can go for you, as you seem to be the most damaged. Anyone really though is here is fine. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Did I do enough damage to you? No, barely any, honestly. Your bottom fusion tower clipped you is there, though. Attack. Good clip, too. Spin back. Let's see what we can do. Who's here? Your bottom fusion tower is under attack. There you are. Try and do a bit of damage to you without letting you get an easy... Oh, damn it. Shot on me, perhaps. Fusion shield has been deactivated. Oh, that's not good. Bingo. Uh, this is the higher part for me right now. Let's try to take this back. There we are. Plasma's become so good at taking out towers later game. But bombers are still rubbish at it, unfortunately. Probably one of the better weapons for taking towers, in my opinion, late game. Would be medi guns, although you gotta get really close. They're incredibly good at doing their job once they're there. Oh, that's unfortunate. I've lost my ability. I've lost my thrusters. No, going down the worst possible location. Okay, let me get down there. Reverse thrust. No, don't go back, you fool. I want to go into the drink. Let me down. Then I can suicide. Or. Actually, have got a little bit of... Uh, oh, we've got all the towers? That's fantastic. I've do, not got enough thrust to go up, but I've got enough thrust to kind of move forward. Attack. If I can... Your no. Fusion tower not is really. Under attack. We're just fighting against the inevitable there. I'm going to have to have the long respawn time, unfortunately, because all of the towers have been taken. So let's have a look at our allies. It looks like they are hitting the enemy tower. The enemy reactor. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll be honest, I, at the beginning, I genuinely had the impression that we were going to lose it. But this is another point to never surrendering. You can never tell how the late game or the mid game is going to play out. You just need a few strategic victories, and it could just come down to luck. You could just be lucky to have those victories, and you'll start pulling things back. And by the same token, it's still not a, not a finished game. The enemy can still pull back at this point. So it's everything for this. We can't be complacent. Once I spawn, I'm probably going to skirt around the edge of the map and then go straight for the reactor. It's low enough in health now, and we're late enough in the game that the pro protonivity escalator is high regardless. Right, going. Here we go. Assassination mission has been accepted. Let's see if I can quietly just crest up here without alerting the enemy to my presence. Fusion tower is under okay, that, that is the middle fusion tower, so it means they're there. It's fine. Hopefully they're distracted. Hopefully everyone is distracted, because I don't care about them. All I care about is this, and I don't need to be attacking from this angle. I want to attack from this side if I can. There's one. Ah, oh, damn it. Plugged it. Okay, just going to assault the reactor from here whilst they kill me. Need this one next. Oh, I'm gone. Wild rat. 
It is almost gone, though. They now have to guard that reactor very actively, because any one of us, if we're allowed there without being harassed for a few moments, it's going to go down. That is a gloriously lovely looking bot, though. Oh, I like it. How well does it move? It moves very well. Is it using hovers? Or oh, it's using helium. Helium and thrusters. It is a satellite. That's beautiful. Well played. Petresco? I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you very much for capturing the tower also. We need to stop them taking the towers, otherwise they're going to respawn all of their dead allies. Actually, if they've come out, then this is our, our possibility. Petresco's already in there. I'm going to come and join. All that we want to do now is take out the town. There we go. And I crash straight into the reactor. Ah, well. Pretty fun all the same. GG, everyone. That was actually well played. All right, let's have a look at the score. Now, the score doubling has now been put into the battle stats. So, as we can see, the effect from winning is enormous. And I, I take it back for, for those that I was... Uh, Discussing with the oh the score doubling doesn't actually affect whether you go up or down. It does actually appear that it, it does affect your your league. I was under the impression from from the tweets that I received from the devs that it seemed that that was that wasn't counted until after for the sake of like RP and stuff like that. But it does seem to be the case. So it seems the uh, enemy are going to lose rank no matter what. I'm not sure about that, though. We'll, we'll actually have to have a look. But uh, in terms of score, I was the fourth highest. In terms of damage, significantly lower. Kills, second highest. That's not too bad. Deaths, uh, I was fifth lowest. And assists, uh, about middle of the road. So kills was really where, where I did well there. Okay, let's go and see how much we earned from that battle. Hopefully, a decent amount. There we go. Probably taking a little bit longer now to load into the base because of all of the extra stuff that's in here. Okay, CPU destroyed. 8,891. In protection, 5,113. In defense, 611. Kills, 7. Assists, 10. Spotting, 14. Protonium destroyed, 447. Robot ranking, 30 million. 203,669 total RP earned. 285,137 with all of the premium, other premium users, bonus included, just under half of a million, uh, sorry, just over half of a million RP in total for that. That was actually quite nice. And let's see, is it going to go up? Rank is increasing. We're on our way to bronze two. I approve of this. Okay, well, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. On the whole, a very, very tanky bot. This is my impression of it. Uh, very, very good at sustaining heavy damage and still being operational. There were only two or three times, and that was towards the end of the game, where everyone was running with overclocked weapons, that I was actually damaged so badly that I couldn't get out of the situation that I was in. But in the early game, this has a lot of survivability. It also looks really cool. I think its, it's maneuverability and survivability comes largely from the enormous amount of redundant wings that it has and rudders. That really, really helps. Also, to, you know, just having the carbon thrusters is, is really cool. I, I like that a lot. These are the first ones that I've had, and they will probably be moving around to different bots here and there. But that is going to be it. I Generally, pretty pretty happy with the bot. I will say again, very expensive, but it is a really nice looking bot, and I actually feel that it's a it's a fairly well built bot. It's certainly there are better bombers out there that people have just made, but it's certainly not a bad bomber. So uh, yeah, take it or leave it. I'm pretty happy with my purchase, and I am off for now. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and will be joining me in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.